Hey, hey, and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. This is Chad from Ascension Worship. This week, we're talking about proximity effect and how you can use a multiband compressor to help alleviate that. Hey, 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 what do you say? Yes, it's that time again. It's Tech Tuesday. So first, what is proximity effect? Proximity effect is when you have a microphone come closer to a source, uh, in this case, a cardioid microphone that a pastor is holding. Um, as the pastor is bringing the microphone closer to his or her mouth, not only does the volume increase, but also you're going to get a low end increase as well. Um, so it's going to become a little bit muddier sounding. Uh, and then as the vice versa of that, as the microphone goes further away, not only will it get quieter, but it's going to get thinner sounding. Um, so that's what proximity effect is. Uh, what we're talking about today is how you can kind of set an EQ um, for the thinner sounding voice and then use a multiband compressor to make up for the low end difference that's going to happen um, as that microphone comes closer and further away. So what we have here are two recordings that I've done earlier today. Um, one is with the microphone close to my mouth, and one is with it further away. We're hearing it with no compression, no EQ. Uh, the only thing that I've done is done a bit of a volume difference, so as if you were taking the fader and boosting it a little bit for the faraway microphone and turning it down a little bit for the close microphone so that we're not having to uh, slam the compressor any more than we already will be, as you'll see. So they sound like this. Close, one, two, three, four. Far, one, two, three, four. Close, one, two, three, four. Far, one, two, three, four. So that close microphone actually sounds pretty good right away. It's a, just a regular Sennheiser handheld wired mic. Um, and then the far away microphone, uh, sounds a bit thin and a little bit telephonic. Um, so in today's example, we're kind of assuming that the um, pastor tends to be more in this range, more that, that was like about navel, uh, a little bit above the navel where I was holding the microphone. Um, so really poor mic placement. So we're, we're really going extreme today to show you what you can do. Um, so let's throw on a little bit of EQ and compression. So I'm just going to use an SSL EQ here, and I'm basing this off of the um, the far away signal. So the really thin signal, I am uh, boosting some low end, cutting out some of that telephonic sound. Um, but this is what we're really focusing on today, is that I am boosting the uh, shelf, so from about 100 hertz down by 9 dB, which is pretty extreme here. So without the uh, EQ, again, our far mic sounds like this. Far. One, two, three, four. And then with those EQ and compression settings, it's going to sound like this. Far, one, two, three, four. So you can hear it's got a lot more oomph in the bottom end, especially if you're listening with, uh, with headphones or uh, computer speakers with a subwoofer. There's a lot more body in the vocal. Um, again, without our EQ and compression, our close mic sounded like this. Close, one, two, three, four. However, with that same setting, again, we're using the extreme settings for the far away microphone. The close mic now sounds like this. Close, one, two, three, four. So we're hearing two things. Uh, one, the main thing we're going to talk about today is that we're hearing a lot more low end boost because that 9 dB of boost um, is added to this as well because it's the same channel um, and what already sounded pretty good in the low end before now has just heaps more low end on it um, and then also because there's so much low end and, and signal in general the compressor is having to slam down a bit more too uh, so what we're going to do today we're, we're mostly going to focus on the multi-band compressor over here um, if you remember from a few weeks ago, we talked about DSers. That is basically a multiband compressor that focuses on the top end of the voice, so where the S's are coming from. Today, we're going to talk about using a, um, a multiband compressor to focus 
oops, excuse me, to focus on the low end, so where all the rumble is coming from, all the proximity effect. Uh, so we are going to be listening to a low shelf set around 150 hertz, and uh, and so it's basically this area here. Uh, so with our plugins on, I'm going to just solo that again. If you have uh, nice speakers, you'll hear this. This is the area that we're focusing on today. So all that low end rumble, we want to kind of clean that up. Um, so this has some pretty basic settings, just like most compressors. Our threshold, again, when it's all the way up, it's doing little to nothing. As we drop it down, you'll hear it's going to, uh, to really start to compress just that part of the frequency spectrum. Um, instead of a ratio, uh, like a normal compressor, this has a range. So right now it's set as, at its most extreme, it can do up to 24 dB of reduction in that frequency range. Um, and then, of course, you can tweak this yourself, but you also have attack and release settings just like a normal compressor. Um, so what we'll do is we will listen to it unaffected, and then I'm going to slam the threshold down so you're going to hear the most extreme setting, and then we'll meet in the middle. So here is with absolutely no compression going on uh, as far as multiband compression goes. Close. One, two, three, four. And now here is uh, an extreme. Close. One, two, three, four. Before. Close. One. After. Close. So you can hear there's quite a big difference right away. Um, now, we've got it cranked, so it's gone a little bit too far. Now it's sounding a little bit thin and a little bit telephonic. So what we're going to do is we're going to just play that again, and we're going to boost this up until we get the desired amount of low end coming back. Close. One, two, three, four. Close. One, two, three, four. Far. Close. One, two, three, four. So here's before. Close. One, two, three, four. You can hear there's a lot of wind noise. And then after. Close. One, two, three, four. A lot better. Let's hear that back to back with the far away. Um, again, watching my meters, I want to see that it is doing little to hopefully none, but more likely little compression on the far away setting and then more extreme compression on the close setting. Close. One, two, three, four. Far. One, two, three, four. Close. One, two, three, four. Far. One, two, three, Off. four. Close. One, two, three, four. Far. One, two, three, On. four. Close. One, two, three, four. Far. One, two, three, four. So you can see that makes a huge difference. Um, not only are we getting less low in when the microphone comes closer, but also our compressor is actually, our, our main compressor here, is pushing a little bit less um, because it's getting less signal sent to it because the low in happened to be a lot of what was making the compressor go before. So in general, it sounds a lot cleaner. Um, so really useful uh, tool here. If you don't have the C6, don't worry, a lot of digital boards have um, their own version of this. Um, it'll either be called multiband compressor or on a lot of Yamaha consoles like the CL series and the QL series, um, it's called the uh, dynamic EQ. Um, and it's basically this, but instead of having six bands, it's got two. Um, which is pretty much what you're going to mostly need for a live situation anyway. Uh, you'll use your low to get rid of any um, muddiness, uh, and then you'll use your high as a de -esser to clear up um, any of those S's that tend to be sharp and cut through a lot. Uh, again, this is extreme settings. This is probably more something you do in like in a broadcast mix. Um, in a live mix, be careful, because with that 9 dB of boost that's going on, um, in my EQ, uh, you don't want these two fighting against each other too much because if you're boosting a whole lot, then you could run into low end feedback. Uh, so always be careful with these things, turn them on and off. Um, this is to show you what you can do with an auto setting. Um, but of course, if you go less extreme, then you can always grab your low shelf and do some 
slight boost in cuts as you go. This is really just to make up for when the pastor out of nowhere throws the microphone up closer to his or her face and then back down. This will help to kind of bridge the gap for you a bit. I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to comment below on our YouTube page, or you can send us an email directly at techtuesday at ascensionworship.com. Uh, and again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and to share. And uh, if you have any questions that, uh, for other shows that you'd like us to focus on, again, please feel free to email or comment below. Um, this show is designed to help you and your church uh, to get the most of the equipment that you already have. Um, so please feel free to ask us what you want, and we will try and make our shows uh, match up with what your team needs. Until next time, have a great week. Again, this is Chad from Ascension Worship. I hope this has been helpful for you and your team. Come back here every Tuesday for new information.